I want to thank our crew, uh, Simon, uh, Stephanie, Steve, uh, Sue, Sue Sperman. Uh, and in fact, we're getting a lot more attention. That's in fact, I think that's why we're they're trying to knock us off the air. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just get the one phone call. So, yeah. See, that's cool. I don't know what that was. Yeah. 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 Well, that's because there's a huge <laughs> blackout. Well, because we got public access, I can get out of there and say something. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, there's nothing. Yeah. It's, well, actually, yeah. there's tens of millions of people. Independent research. Do you have a second to talk to Amelia? Oh, oh yeah. Just he probably wants to show you the disaster that we're working, the conditions we're working on. Oh, I know. I, I mean, I came over right after. Come on, you guys. Well, no, but that's not. That's 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 old. <laughs> so this one, this one was the cleaned one. Um, Gotta get out of this place. Yeah, you can see you can see that you can see the tiles that, that you know that, that some of them they took out, other ones you could tell buckled, and you could see all the the nastiness, right? Uh, there is a deadline of, of December thirty first is when our eviction notice is has uh, called for us to be out of the, of the the current county facility we're in. What what Thadius and them had, had agreed to that was uh, in January that they would start on the far side over there, away from all the equipment and all the key places to just start the, the work that they need to do would, would not interfere with our work. That was the agreement. Mm -hmm. So because of the, the growth in the county, they've had to, to acquire some of these older buildings so they can move some of their administration and such. And unfortunately, we were occupying some prime valuable territory, it would appear, for their uh, services. So they that's why the... Um, the notice of eviction was issued out. You know, I mean, you can see all everywhere where there's been water and stuff like pouring through and, and different well, places. You can't really be doing this kind of construction work that uh, uh, pours water well, down on people before, before the tenants are out. I mean, the, yeah. that, that, that is just totally on it. It's like they're agreed. doing it before our operating hours, and they're the ones who maybe move our equipment out and move it back so that it's back in play by the time we open our doors at 2 o'clock. No, to, to let water and sewage pour down on equipment that, and ruin it, ruin $10,000 worth of equipment, that, that's just over the top. Well, yeah. I, I'm glad you did it, and I'll do everything I can to make, you know, to... to Get they use over here. He's the head of the county commission, yeah. and get him to you know get him to stop it. Yeah. Just, just stop it, because that that's not was that was not part of the agreement. In fact, they said they were going to give us a three month cushion yeah. to organize and get out of here. You know, in a, in a in a systematic way, so we don't have to turn the lights out on them. But this is not allowing us to do that. Oh, I know that. Absolutely. Well, this isn't even. This isn't even. This is shutting this us is, down. This isn't normal construction practice. No. This is, you don't run a job like this. No. It's bullshit. I agree. They never sent anybody to fix it in. You can still see some of that raw sewage up there. Mike himself cleaned that. For right now, what, what the facility is primarily used for, we occupy the first floor. Second floor is getting ready to, they're going to move in a lot of IT administration and uh, things of that nature from the county. And the third and fourth floor are occupied by the Bernalillo County uh, Department, the, the police department. And what they do is it's a sort of a training academy. And um, so that's that's how it is right now. And again, they need these other floors, including the basement level, so they can move uh, a lot of their staff people into this building. You know, our intern corner, my desk, the intern desk, totally unusable. I have Listen, no idea. you should call, okay. you should call OSHA and say, that this is dangerous, so we, and OSHA will come down here and shut them down. Right now, we're under the legal department, which is kind of funny. We're a station that, you know, television station. We, we, we'd probably be better served under cultural services or things of that nature, maybe even parks and recs, who knows. But uh, right now, we're under the, uh, the legal division of the city of Albuquerque. So ultimately, they, may, they, they kind of call the shots in conjunction with city council and with the uh, mayor. They just leave it open. There's our light. You know, I mean, this is this is all the lights on right now, and it's real dark in here. I mean, you know, some people don't necessarily need a lot of light to film. 
But I mean, no effort to just, hey, we'll, we'll, let's just slide you the light back. On with, you need somebody to talk to whoever's in charge of the remodel up there. You need somebody to go talk to them. Say, this can't be the way it is. You know, there's, you know, there's I don't know, concrete I mean, dust I'll, I'll all over the floor. Are you filming all I'll this? Call yeah, I filmed it. Okay. We really, it, it should be more transparent for us to see where this money is coming from. Coming. Usually are you tap you, on it. I'm glad you did this. We're told uh, I, had, I thought it was one event, one time. I had no idea it was still. You know, going they on. they don't come with any of their own brooms or anything. Like I had, I had, to, I, you know, I had really, I had to like set them aside and be like, look, this is a functioning business. We have children who come in here. We have adults of all ages. We can't just leave it like this. I don't, I don't know what this stuff is. And I said, you know, it could be asbestos, whatever. You know, because there are signs around the building that talk about asbestos. And they're like, well, there was an asbestos abatement, something, something. And they're like very smug about it. And these were the guys with the city badge that they uh, are going to be pulling out all kinds of wires from the ceiling and they're going to be running new wires and then we're going to we're going to have big giant piles of wires in our hallways and you know basically like that's what we're doing and you have nothing to say about that you know it was like that's that was the attitude that I was left with is that this is what we're doing period but you know what okay they're doing this now on this side and, you know, this stuff is like, you know, it's all stuff that takes time, you know, editing, all this kind of stuff. You know, this isn't the quick turnaround, you know, I'm doing my live show or my pre-recorded show. We're going to have one day maybe notice about when, when they're going to shut down our studios or water's pouring into our studios or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, I, and, and, or, or what if water starts pouring into master control or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if water gets over there and it's gotten pretty darn close. The station's down. If they, they did, they damage our master control and our server room. We're off. We're off the air. We've lost any right to claim ourselves as any kind of uh, model or uh, exemplar of democracy, because it has been sabotaged by uh, corporate power. There's always somebody who's watching.